Hello, YouTube. This is Keith, Kevin, Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. Today, the knife of the day is a new one from Spydeco. It's the Para 3 Lightweight with a brand new steel. It's CPM Spy 27. This has almost been the month of new steels. About a couple of weeks ago, I showed you a paramilitary two that had the new steel from Crucible, CPM S45VN steel. You know, the, the new S35VN, the new and improved S35VN steel. Now that is making its debut on a lot of knives by a lot of knife makers. Spyderco wanted to push it out as quick as they could, but of course, a lot of people have that as kind of the new standard in quotations from CPM. But Spyderco also worked with Crucible to come up with this steel. This is what makes this knife so different, you know, Spyderco has been releasing a lot of lightweight pair of threes and a lot of pair of threes with a lot of different steels and great colors on the FRN scales. But this is special for Spyderco and special for Spyderco fans because Spyderco worked with Crucible to come up with its own steel. I think this is the only time, the first time Spartaco has done this, it's own steel. It's CPM SPY 27, SPY 27. The reason they call it SPY is Spartaco, of course, short for Spartaco. 27 is important too. That's the atomic number, number 27 for cobalt. There's a lot of cobalt in this steel. And that allows it to do a lot of different things. I'm not a chemist. I failed biology in high school. But one thing we know is this new steel has super great edge retention and a lot of corrosion resistance as well. When asked about the new steel, folks from Spyderco just says, hey, we're trying to get it out there and letting all of us all of their fans test it out. So we'll be seeing this on a lot of knives, I predict, from Spyderco. In fact, pretty soon, in a couple of weeks or so, we should have a Manix 2 lightweight with Spy 27, CPM Spy 27 on it. My guess is over the next year and a half, two years, we'll get all of Spyderco's American-made knives with Spy 27. This is not a sprint run, by the way. This is not a special run of knives. This is a production knife with Spy 27. So you have time. It won't sell out in two minutes or 10 minutes. It'll be there for a while. And we'll get a lot of variation, a lot of different knives coming out with Spy 27 which is really good. I think if Spy 27 is a success, and success means people don't bash it, people like how it cuts and what it does, they will probably start seeing over the next couple of years, my guess, Spy 27 slowly, slowly replacing CPM S30V is Spyderco's go-to steel. So that's an interesting thing. Two, less than a month, we have two new steels. CPM's standard is upgraded from S35VN to S45VN. And then Spyderco does Spy 27 with a lot of cobalt in the steel. Of course, this is the Para 3 lightweight. I'm still waiting for a paramilitary 2 lightweight. 
I'm still waiting for a military lightweight, a shaman lightweight. <laughs> yeah. How about a little native lightweight? Now that's a light, that will be a light knife. <laughs> that that would be super to see that. I mean, they've done a dragonfly and lightweight. I'd love to see the little native and lightweight. Of course, you know the Paris three, three inch Spydeco blade, full flat ground, clip point blade, the entire length, just 7.3 inches. It's just a perfect EDC knife, especially in a lightweight. I love knives that give me a little oomph. I like the weight of a knife, I do. But slipping this in a pocket, oh, <laughs> you just can't argue with the lightweight. 2.4 ounces, that's it. It does have liners. They're embedded stainless steel liners that are heavily skeletonized as well. So you get that reinforcement, that strength of the scales. But, oh, so light. The compression lock, of course, that we've come to love. It has the wire clip on the right hand, left hand, tip up only. Right hand, left hand, tip up only. And of course, on all the Para 3 lightweights, the lanyard hole is moved from the bottom of the clip that happens on the regular G10 Para 3s over to the right. There you have it. The knife of the day, the Spydeco Para 3 Lightweight, the first introduction of Spydeco's brand new steel, CPM Spy 27, bunch of cobalt in it, great edge retention, great corrosion resistance. It's called Spy 27 because of Spydeco. That's the Spy 27. That's Cobalt, Cobalt's atomic number. <laughs> Very geeky, huh? There you see it next to the Paramilitary 2 with S45 VN Steel and a Delica. Nice knife, another pair of three, great steel and Spydeco's own exclusive steel. And it's gonna be available, we'll get it in all of the Americans. I think by the end of this year, we should have, I think paramilitary too. I know the Mannix is next. We'll get them in the American steels. Hey, I'm wishing all you guys the best. I know everything's opened up, but remember, no cure yet. So please take good care of yourselves and your families. Wishing you guys the best. I really am. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye. Take care.